Well, hello friends. I'm going to try for something a little different today. So, yesterday I came out here to this sad, bedraggled nature garden that we have. I'll show it to you. It's nothing beautiful. Yeah. So, that this is the results of a harsh winter. So, uh, what was planted here was a lot of native plants, like co cone flowers and so forth. They will come back. There's lots of grasses here too. So uh, we're just we just we plant this, let it come back. It's a kind of a neglected little space, but it's great for all kinds of little organisms. Makes me kind of sad to look at it now. It's spring give it time. Anyway, so what did I do? I came out here with my trowel and I dug a little hole and let's see if I can see it very well here. There it is. And what I put in the hole was a little olive jar. Classy, right? It's basically a pit trap. So things were running around in here overnight and uh, falling into the pit. So what I'm going to do now is let's go see what we caught. Because as soon as I'm done with it, I'm going to let them go. I'll free them. So here we go. Let's just go sit over here. I've got this little container all set up. We'll just dump it out and see what's in there. Oh boy, I can tell right away. Oh, there's a millipede, there's an isopod, a couple of isopods, and wolf spiders. Oh boy. So what I'm going to have to do is take pictures of those, and then I'll set them free. Anyway, this is a really easy thing to do. Uh, it's 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 not so much for catching like orb weavers and so forth, but all the little critters that are scurrying around in your yard when you're not looking, they will fall in and get trapped and then you can take a closer look at them. So let me put this aside. Oh, I'm standing and I'm, my shadow's right on top of it. But there you can see that's, that's the product of one night's catch. Let's get some close-up photos of them. Okay, that's it. That was a quick one. It's really easy to do. You should try it. I think this would be a great activity to do with kids. You can just put out a jar and the next morning you come in you find all kinds of cool creepy crawlies in it. Uh, I have let them go. They're out there in the garden now. I have also replaced the pit trap so we'll see if we get something different later. Uh, the one thing I would say is you gotta check it every day. 
Yeah, because, you know, they're trapped down there in this little glass jar. Uh, they get plenty of fresh air, but there's going to be humidity. There's going to be condensation. Uh, there's going to be predators coming along. So do check it first thing in the morning. Let them go. They're, do they're doing good work in your garden, you know. Okay, that's all.